What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Beauty and the Beast. Today, I, the Beast, hang out with the beauty. What's up, mama? Hey. And uh, we're going to talk to you guys and give you our review and thoughts, really, of the new Super Mario Brothers movie. So I'm a child of the 80s. You're not. And um, my perspective of Mario goes really, really, really far back as far as uh, seeing Mario on the big screen. Um, back to the John Leguizamo days where the, the original Mario film where the, the Goombas had really tiny heads and there, and there was a big raptor that... Uh, just a bunch of crazy stuff. It's almost like you give people a bunch of LSD and set them free type situation with the original Mario movie. I love that movie. You're insane. But then again, you did marry me, so maybe you are insane. I love that movie. That movie is one of the worst movies ever. I mean, you couldn't pay me to watch it, but I uh, I was holding out hope, you know, even back then in the 80s that one day they would, they would set the ship right. And... Um, for better or worse, I think they kind of did with the Super Mario movie. Um, this movie takes place in the animated world, the CG world of Super Mario, where mm -hmm. uh, Mario and Luigi find themselves in the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, and, and they're going through all kinds of things to get back together and ultimately de defeat Bowser and save the princess, if she even needs saving, um, from Bowser and his... Uh, unending stream of love let's just say it that way <laughs> so so how did you feel about this movie uh, we could talk about it a little bit um, there were so many um, Easter eggs in this Mario film that is really really hard to keep count but, yeah but virtually every Mario type of Easter egg from all the games was in there there was characters from every single game uh, side characters funny little quips um, Punch Out was in the game. Just a bunch of crazy stuff. If you're a big video game fan, I would say definitely watch this movie just to see how many Easter eggs you could find in it. But yeah. this isn't an Easter egg review. It's a movie review. Um, give me your thoughts initially on, on this movie. It came on. It shows Mario and Luigi. Mario voiced by Chris Pratt. Luigi voiced by a guy I don't know. Don't really care. Um, but the beginning of the film started off with them uh, doing their commercial, right? Yeah, for yep, their they plumbing were. business, mm -hmm. and uh, they were making jokes about not sounding Italian. And uh, John Leg Leguizamo, who who actually played Luigi in the original film, was very upset uh, because they didn't uh, cast Hispanic actors to play Mario and Luigi. Um, yeah. Everybody's offended by everything nowadays. These people are crazy. I honestly think Chris Pratt did a pretty good job uh, playing Mario. He didn't sound like Mario. I, w I would have preferred Mario 64. But I do believe that Mario, in this film, you see Mario's parents. You see his brother and his mother and father. And yeah. um, I believe his father is voiced by the guy who voiced Mario in Mario 64. Because it was kind of like an Easter egg moment and it it triggered a memory when he said it he was like no you say it's a me a mario he said something like that to mario yeah. trying to tell him to uh sound more italian in the commercial but i think that was the original guy and uh, it would make a lot of sense if they did that ultimately these guys are trying to start off their business failing hard uh failing hard at being plumbers which is hard to do i guess you know it's, sh it's shitty <laughs> it's shitty work but but something really crazy happens and they get sucked uh, through this um, through this little tube, you know, the sewer, the, the sewer pipes, and they mm -hmm. end up in, you know, this fantasy world of uh, toads and, and, and princesses and Bowser, and they get the separated. The Mushroom Kingdom. So I've, done, I've kingdom. done a lot of talking so far. Tell me what you thought about the movie. It was you and I and our four kids. We sat there and went, we saw the what? The 3D version? The 3D version, yep. How did you like the 3D? Did you uh, like that effect? Did you feel like it was worth it ultimately? What are your thoughts? No, no. I would have I would have liked to see it just regular. Um, I don't think it added anything and it was just I, I a have to agree effort. with you. Yeah. I have to agree. Um, normally, if they're going to do a movie in 3D, they actually have some really awesome 3D effects in the film. This right here was just like by, by the numbers 3D and, and just a little. It wasn't popping. It was just like you could kind of see that there was a difference in uh, the dimension, you know, the, the, the dimensions yep. you were looking at. And it wasn't really anything special. So you're a big fan of Mario, um, right? You played yes. a lot of the games. Yeah. Yeah, I played a lot of them. Did you did you play the last game Mario? You beat Mario Odyssey before I did. 
Yes, I well, did. Just like you just did with Resident Evil 4. Yes, I did. I and think, that I'm going to do with God of War. I think she seriously hates me, but uh, I, I was playing the game, you know, I've been back and forth in VR, but I happened to look over. She's on the last boss. I was like, are you beating the game right now? She was like, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. But to be fair, you beat it way before me. Yeah, many, like, mo many more many, times. Many moons ago. Yeah, yeah, many moons ago. Let's get back to Mario. So Mario gets sent to um, the Mushroom Kingdom and uh, Luigi gets separated and goes to like Bowser's world. And so mm -hmm. I was really excited at this moment because I saw what looked like the opening or a part of the Luigi's Mansion games. Luigi okay. looked super scared. He had his flashlight and I was thinking, oh, and he walked inside the castle and there, there were the ghosts and stuff there. So I was like, this is a definite callback to Luigi's Mansion. I only wish they went further with it. I wish Luigi had more to do. To me, Luigi was kind of like a... He was constantly trapped the whole movie. Yeah, he didn't do anything. He was just stuck there. Like, he didn't get to do anything. He was basically what what Princess Peach normally is. In some mm -hmm. cage somewhere, you know. But he was doing nothing. He's always been Mario's right-hand man when you play the game. Like, if you're playing with your brother or sister, you're player one or player two, and they both have the same abilities. But yep. in, this, in this movie, their abilities sorely lacked... I think that this is probably the weakest I've ever seen Mario or Luigi. Luigi did absolutely nothing in this film. He's very, very weak, you know, cowering in fear. They had some really cool uh, and funny side characters because when Luigi was inside his cage being lowered into the lava, I think the guy was from Mario, um, uh, Mario Galaxy, wasn't he? The little blue star flame guy. You guys let me know in the comments. I think so. It's like a little blue flame dude. And he, he had the cutest voice and the sweetest delivery, but he said the darkest <laughs> shit ever. He's talking about death and eternal <laughs> slumber, but it sounded so cute. I thought it was really, really funny. Um, now I'm kind of going to get into a little bit of the area because you still only said three words. I really want to hear what you think about this movie. You be talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so I liked it overall. It's not like the greatest feature ever, for sure. Um, I, I said in the theater, I think I said I gave it like a six and a half, seven. Um, but yeah, it really seemed like Mario was super weak and pointless. Like this should have been a Peach movie instead. That's kind of what I was saying. Cause I was trying to, you know, life is hard. So I, I was already tired and stressed out the movie theater. I work a lot, but I was like, what is going on here? Are they like dumbing Mario down, emasculating Mario and, and making Peach like the heroine? Because that's really what it felt like. Um, every aspect of the film where Mario had an opportunity to, to shine or persevere, he was failing miserably. He failed as, as a plumber. He went into uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. He went to talk to, to Peach. I like one that, that one part of the film where he walked up to the castle and the, the two toads said, your, your princess is in another castle. So for the people who are old enough to know about the original Mario games, when you beat a castle... Until you get to the very end of the game, they would say, congratulations, Mario, but the princess is in another castle. They actually did that. They did a lot of really awesome callbacks. And like yeah. I said, some of the stuff in this movie was really incredible. I mean, they had like Mario 3D Land, um, Cat Suit, a bunch of crazy stuff. And um, I, I thought it was really tasteful to, to add all these different aspects of different games. Uh, they even had the uh, Princess Peach ha having her ability to float that she's that she got in Mario too. So I thought that was that was pretty cool. But Mario went into the you know the princess's world and he and he finally got to her. He ran past her guards and he explained to her that his brother was trapped in another world and he needed help. And uh, she proceeded to kind of take him on on her mission because because Bowser was coming to her world to marry her. Uh, and or, or or kill all the toads that she had as you know her people, and yeah. so she knew Bowser was coming. He had just killed, took over the penguin world, which was, they were so cute and so weak. So weak. <laughs> I mean, Bowser lands. They start, they start throwing snowballs at him, and it was like nothing. It was it was actually pretty cute. But um, Princess Peach knew Bowser was coming, and um, so she looked at Mario. And she was like, "You're a human." He was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "Why are you so small?" That right there was like very emasculating, you know, 
these Mario and Peach are supposed to be in love in the future. It, it starts like this. Then she proceeds to tell Mario, um, we'll go get your brother, but I, I want you to help me beat Bowser first to save my people. So Mario is like 100% in. His brother could be dead by now, but he's 100% in following her. So he goes on this obstacle course that was like the... Now, as a, as a Mario fan, you know, doing triple jumps in Mario 64 and his spinning attacks and all this crazy stuff he does to see him failing miserably over and over and over again. At first, I was like, well, it, it would be pretty hard to run and slide under like a pillar of flame, right? But what made it worse is she was like, I got this so easy. You just suck at life. I was like, damn, Mario. For real? <laughs> so, and like, I... I could kind of see, like, maybe she grew up there, so it's real easy she for her. She did grow up there, yeah. And Mario, it's, it's his first time, but after failing over and over and over and over and over again, and she's just sitting there like, yeah, this is, you're never going to get this. And all these power-ups he's using and stuff, it's real stupid because in the beginning of the movie, you sh it showed him, like, platforming across the city trying With to help Luigi. Luigi. Yeah, how, how good he was at it, right? They had yeah. a 2D representation of the video game showing how agile he was, but in her world, he was just not good enough. And and yeah. I feel like she was like, you guys know I hate the new Star Wars franchise. I love the old Star Wars franchise. I hate this one probably more than the, the second franchise. But um, she's like Daisy Ridley, you know? Peach is like Daisy Ridley in Star in Star Wars. Um, she She's a perfect star at everything she does everything perfectly she could kick ass she's flipping around ninja kicking people jumping on motorcycles they have some really sick mario kart stuff in this this movie for fans of mario kart you'll probably lose your lose your shit when you see the the tracks and the things they're doing and what they're using i thought that was really awesome that's why i can't totally hate the film mm -hmm. um the only things i i honestly genuinely dislike was um Peach was the one giving the directives instead of being the one getting rescued by Mario. Mario didn't have any real reason to save Peach. You know, in the end, he got his ass kicked by Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is okay in the movie. I hate uh, Seth Rogen. I, yep, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't overcome that. I could not get past his stupid laugh and his stupid voice. It really upset me. <laughs> like, I don't like Jack Black either, but at least Bowser didn't really sound like Jack Black. Yeah, uh, I don't think Jack Black was nearly as bad. I don't like Seth Rogen uh, simply because of the agenda that he promotes. Like, when you watch Sausage Party and all the stuff that he's done, that's why I'm very apprehensive about the Ninja Turtles animated movie he's behind. He uh, He's trying to find a way to subvert everything and turn it upside down and inject a bunch of garbage. So it's really, hard, so for, it's really hard for me to hear his voice and see him in a project and not get my gears grinded a little bit but um yeah mario he was weak he wasn't very very strong he got his ass kicked by donkey kong until he got very very lucky he got beat down by bowser you know um and, and basically at the end of the film um the only way he was able to win was by getting the, the superstar that bowser coveted and, and loved so much that and, peach tossed over to him yeah so basically, it was her film. It was really yeah. She her was the film. hero. And uh, he was kind of like a guy. And, and Luigi did nothing. He got saved at the very, very end of the movie. He was able to help Mario. But the entire film, I was like, Luigi, wh where's his super jump? You know, Luigi jumps much higher than Mario. I was like, they're going to leverage that in some kind of cool way and let Luigi do his thing. But Luigi was completely useless in this film. Uh, Peach was the star, I think, of the film. Um, and she wasn't like overly masculine or anything. She was very, very feminine, but the energy she had was I'm the leader. You know, when she stood up to Bowser and jumped down there in front of him and she was using her ice powers and all that stuff, she was basically holding Bowser off by herself without Mario. Yeah, it wasn't really like um, a Mario Save the Princess movie like all the games are. It, it was like um, Peach is going to do everything and Mario, you can help a little bit. Like he was the side character. He was a side, just, side piece. Yeah, that's just not what Mario is. So it's like they didn't stay true to that at all. Yeah, so that, that's really my thought. Overall, I think it was a good film. Overall, because it didn't inject a whole bunch of woke nonsense into it. 
but uh, to take the, the the titular character, the pivotal character, the main protagonist, and, and and really push them into like a second or third category character in a film where the person he normally saves is like at the forefront, ordering him and telling him. It's kind of like what they did with The Last of Us. Now I'm getting flashbacks. Now but here comes a migraine uh, when I see Bella Ramsey's face ordering Joel to say congratulations at the dinner table. You know, they're... they're it's called retconning. You know, they, they retcon things that we already knew in the past and turn them into something new for the future. I would give this movie, if I had to go on a scale of one to ten, probably a six point five, because it did scratch the itch of nostalgia. Uh, as a fan of Mario, you know, I got Mario stuff everywhere in this house, um, okay. Nintendo stuff everywhere. Um, I got to see some really cool stuff uh, that that really was very reminiscent. The gym. That um, a little Mac fought in uh, in Punch Out. The Punch Out Gym is where Bowser threw him. It's like a bunch of super cool parts. We got to see like uh, King Bob-omb from Mario 64, the big bomb, the first boss you fight. Peach killed him, yep. unfortunately for Mario. But um, there was a lot of really really cool callbacks to the fans of the Mario franchise. And if you're a Mario fan, this movie did like 300. And, 30 million dollars over the weekend it's like it, it's the biggest uh, animated opening uh of 2023 so it's it'll definitely be a part two coming and uh hopefully they by then they at least let mario's jock strap loose and let his balls hang so he can go do what he's supposed to do yeah and i'd like a little more action too like a little more of the adventure not just the destination and the last boss fight yeah you, know? you told me it's, that in the theater you said if the, if the yeah. first half of the movie was like the, the last third yeah it would have been a lot better yeah. yeah the kids loved it so yeah but nova did have a complaint about you know peach not needing saving oh yeah yeah Remember? she sure did 12 well, she, years old smart yeah, girl smart she's girl. on our side all right well i mean that's our thoughts uh, you got anything else to contribute to mario nope not to mario and i think she's absolutely right you guys let us know in the comments below if you saw the mario movie did you like it did you not like it is it one of your top films of the year let us know in the comments be sure to give a thumbs up to show support for the beastly gamer channel and if you haven't yet why not subscribe i'm the beastly gamer and i'm kate and we'll see you guys next time see ya you froze no, I he didn't. Did not. <laughs> I was about to say you did not. <laughs>